Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ebony B here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I am doing a review video for ColourPop Cosmetics. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I've never tried anything from ColourPop before. This is my first time trying ColourPop. I'm not really gonna say that to you. What I will say, the only products that I did try from ColourPop had to be two or three years ago, and that's when Karuchi Tran had dropped her color um, called Rooch or something. I forgot, I, I forgot what the color was, but I tried her lip color and I also tried It's My Ray Ray when she dropped uh, one of her liquid lipsticks, and I will say, they were very affordable then. I noticed that they did go up as far as the price range, but not too much where I decided or I came to this conclusion that they're just not gonna be who I go with because they're too much money. You know, I don't know if everyone is aware of ColourPop or what ColourPop is. If you are just getting into the makeup community or if you've been in the makeup community for a while and you've kind of been like overlooking ColourPop, this is the time to try their stuff out, okay? They won me over with this new release they did. They released 42 shades of their no filter foundations. I had to jump on board. I had to try this foundation out. If it's cheap and it looks good, you talking about saving money, living better? sleeping great no okay you, you actually want to take it off your face when you go to sleep so let's not sleep in it for those who may not be that aware of ColourPop or what ColourPop is all about or what they have they are a cruelty free line where they have affordable concealers blushes bronzers and they just released foundation they've never had a foundation out as far as I'm aware I don't believe they ever have foundation let's double check yeah as far as I'm aware they never had foundation so this is their first drop of foundation and for some reason the no filter I hear the word pro filter like the Fenty Beauty pro filter foundations now you have the ColourPop no filter I don't know why I'm doing this just, just throw them away but yeah I just keep thinking of pro filter so hopefully we are getting the same vibes with pro filter just for some I hope that this foundation works a lot better with a lot of skin Types and not just one specific skin type because pro filter it actually probably was more beneficial to those with oily skin because it was such a mattifying primer and it dried down super duper quick um, hopefully this filter can work with a lot more skin types than the pro filter one also um, I do believe they said this is a long wearing foundation and I do believe it's full coverage or it's medium to full coverage we will find that out. So, moving on, we're gonna get into the products that I purchased, okay? Okay. So I made the purchase of my ColourPop order within the middle of one week, and I got it by the end of the following week. So honestly, the shipping wasn't that bad. It had to be like four or five days, you know, the standard ground shipping without having to pay extra to get your stuff. So as far as how long do I have to wait to get these products, I don't think that you have to wait long unless you're impatient like me, because I was very impatient. I was like, okay, about time, this stuff pop up, I don't have time for this. But yeah, taking a look at the packaging, the box says made in LA, and of course on top of the box it has all my personal information, so I won't be showing you that. So when you open the box, up, we are looking at open in case of a party emergency. So honestly, I mean, this isn't like a PR package or anything like that, but the packaging is pretty decent um, as far as, you know, they could have just given us a plain cardboard box and we could have just had our imaginations working for us instead of us actually having something like this. So, um, thank you ColourPop for that. This looks very, very interesting. I was very excited when I opened it just because I saw the inside of the box and I was like, ha, it's really here. And by the way, I ordered eight items from ColourPop and I spent less than $70 including shipping and handling. If that ain't Jesus, like he works with us. You know, sometimes we may feel alone but he's really there. He's really there to save us some coins, and I'm not mad. But anyways, the first item that I'm showing you guys are the no filter foundations. Um, like I said, I got two shades because I wasn't really sure um, which shade I really fell under. It's really hard to tell. Um, I will also say that I did watch a few videos for some of the bigger influencers that purchased it and did a review on it that were close to my shade so I could get an idea of what I probably would fall under. I have a neutral undertone, not really golden, not really red, not really cool, like really in the middle. I am the shade Trinidad and NARS. I am 420 Infinity Beauty. 
Um, I am the shade Chestnut in the Born This Way Foundation from Too Faced. And I am Cappuccino from NYX. So if you all need a shade reference, those are my shades. I'll also put them in the description box as well. So I got two shades. I have the shade Deep Dark 195 and Deep Dark 190. I'm definitely going to swatch these on my face to figure out which one I actually want to use. But those are the two shades that I picked up in foundation. The foundations run for $12 on ColourPop, which is a steal, okay? You heard it here. It's a steal. It's a steal. It's a steal. It's a steal. All right, and the next two items that I picked up are my ColourPop No Filter Concealers. Now, I picked up these two shades instead of one shade because, like I said, I've never really used anything else from ColourPop but their lippies from like two or three years ago. So I don't really know what shade I am in pretty much anything. And with my concealers, I really like to go for the natural concealer look. And I do want to have that alternate option that if I don't really want to go natural, I can go for something a little bit more stand outish. The two shades that I picked up are Deep Dark 52 and Deep Dark 46. And I also will be swatching the concealers as well. Also, these concealers run for $6 a piece. The next thing that I picked up are the No Filter Sheer Pressed Powders. These powders can be used as a finishing powder, they can be used as a contour, they can be used as a bronzer. Um, but yeah, I got two shades. For the same reason, I'm not really sure which shade would best suit me. These pressed powders run for $8. Now, I don't really know if you noticed, but nothing is touching $15 yet. Just giving you an idea of how much you're saving. I picked up the shades Deep Dark and Dark, and the reason why I did that is because dark kind of gives me a really light look on the website, and I will be showing you guys what the items actually look like. Um, but dark didn't really look dark to me, so Deep Dark was something that I decided to do on the safe side, hopefully if dark does not, you know, contour for me or bronze for me, hopefully it could at least be my finishing powder, my finishing pressed powder, and hopefully this doesn't go to waste. The next item that I picked up is the No Filter Loose Setting Powder. Now, ColourPop dropped three shades. They dropped their Translucent Shade, they dropped the Banana Shade, and they dropped the Translucent Deep Shade. Now, to be on the safe side, and because, you know, my items were kind of adding up. I just got one, and the shade that I chose was the banana powder. I wanted to be on the safe side, and I had no idea whether or not the translucent deep was gonna be doing too much or throw off my entire look. This powder runs for $9. Also, a correction on the pressed powders, they are also $9 as well. They are not $8, the pressed powders are $9. This would be all for the ColourPop No Filter collection of things that I picked up. The last item that I picked up was something that I had to get because I just had to. It's kind of been on my mind for a while and I watch a lot of her videos and I'm just like, look, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. I also went ahead and bought Ellery's Lippy, her lipstick from ColourPop. This runs for $5.50 and this is in the shade Ellery. I think this would be a good finish for the entire look so I'm excited to get started with this and without further ado I'm just gonna get right into this video you will get my honest unbiased opinion I will let you know if you have dry skin oily skin whether or not this will be good for you I'll let you know my pros and my cons for it so yeah if you want to see the finished result using these products and hear my takes on them stay tuned okay so getting into the foundation just looking at the bottles they do seem to be a pretty decent size um, as far as the fluid ounces, we can go ahead and make some quick comparisons. So for the ColourPop No Filter Foundations, these are, let's see, 85 full ounces. For most of the other brands that you purchase foundations from, you are normally getting one full ounce. I would say the least foundation that I purchased out of any of my makeup probably would be the NYX. Uh, total drop foundation that is 0.43 ounces and that's a fairly small bottle so comparing the size of the ColourPop foundation to the NYX total drop you can see kind of the size difference you're only getting 0.43 with NYX and then for the uh, no filter you're getting 0.85 and comparing the no filter foundation to a one full ounce bottle of foundation which you could also get Born This Way, which is a one full ounce bottle. I believe um, the Kat Von D Locket foundation is 
one full ounce. I don't feel like pulling those out, but they are all about the same in ounces. They are one full ounce. You can't really tell the difference there, but the difference does matter as far as how often you use your makeup and you kind of just want to get the same amount in everything. That's not like a con to getting this foundation or anything. I did just want to point that out on how much you're really getting when you purchase this foundation. Another thing that I want to point out is that these bottles do have pumps. These are pumps to get foundation out and it is lockable. So, you know, some foundations don't have that lock option. They just have a cap that you put on top. These didn't come with caps, but they do come with locks, so yeah. So looking at these two foundations, they don't look that much off from each other, um, but in this hand would be the Deep Dark 195, and in this hand would just be the Deep 190. They both look like they could possibly work very well with my face. Um, if this one is a little too dark, I could use this, or if this is a little too light, I could probably still work with this. But we do wanna find the shade that's closest to my skin tone to give a better accurate review now as far as my opinion for the shades of the bottle, I am leaning more towards 190 as it being the closest just by looking at the bottle. This looks like it has a little bit more red in it, but we're going to go ahead and swatch these just to give you an idea. Um, I'm also going to let them dry down before I decide for sure which one I want to go with. I'm going to shake both bottles up really good actually. So don't forget to do that guys, make sure you shake your bottles up. I'm gonna unlock that. I don't know how much I need to pump before it actually comes out. Okay. Okay, so this is Deep Dark 190 that I've splashed on my face. And I think I originally said deep 190. It's actually deep dark 190. Um, please excuse this bump here. It's just life won't let you be great. It's okay. We're not gonna get into that. Next, I'm gonna go in with the deep dark 195. And I will also point out they are on a bit of the runny side. They are not really thick consistency. Um, I'm not nervous about that at all though. I do feel like that's not gonna be an issue. So this is the shade 195. This has a slight red tint in it, um, but we're going to let it dry down. That's what we're going to do. We're going to let this dry down. Okay, so these are kind of dried down. Um, one thing that I did notice as far as the dry down, just by how long it's taken to dry down, um, they don't dry as quick as the Pro Filter Fenty Beauty Foundation. So to give you an idea of why I chose these shades, I'm more so on like a neutral side. I have a little bit of a red tint in my undertone um, and also I guess a little bit of cool. So I can get away with either or. Looks like 195 has dried down and it kind of is giving a really dark feel or a dark appearance to my face. Um, it looks like it's blending but it's really one of those foundations that when you put it all over your face you'll feel like you look a little bit on the muddy side if you go to ColourPop's website you will find 195 under both the deep dark neutral and deep dark cool uh categories that's why i picked it up because it does seem like it would be something that i would fall under just looking at it it just it looks like i could get away with it but at the same time it looks like it could be a little dark um, for the 190 shade, you will probably only find this under the Deep Dark Cool category. I'm going to be using the Deep Dark Cool for this foundation look today. And hopefully it works in my favor. Hopefully I chose the right shade. But like I said, I could play both of these shades honestly with the right concealer. If this 195 looked too dark, I could definitely make it brighten a little bit more. But I don't know, something about this shade here though is just, I don't know, it's winning me over right now. So we're going to go with... Deep Dark 190 for this foundation look. Okay, so this is the application using the shade 190, Deep Dark 190. I think it is a pretty good match for me. Like I said, if I were to have went to the 195, it still would have been a good shade to use. I could have definitely saved it with concealer, but I'm actually really happy about this. This is, this is good stuff. I do believe that this is full coverage. Um, I didn't really use as many layers. 
I had a few spots that my dots didn't get to so I did cover those up but you really could do one layer of this using the correct brush because I was originally going to use the sponge but the sponge was soaking too much of it up and we ain't got time for that it's 0.85 it's now one full ounce yeah I do like the way that it came out it actually looks pretty good but we are not done next we're going to move on to the concealers I'm so excited I've never used their concealers before so I can't wait to see how those turn out okay and for my concealer shade like I said before I picked up two shades in concealer um i kind of just winged it i wanted to go for something that looked the most natural i got the shades dark 46 and dark 52 okay so the first shade that i'm gonna swatch is the dark 46 shade okay and this is what that shade looks like it's not bad it could possibly be a good concealer shade I probably would go as light as this. I probably wouldn't go any lighter than this shade. So this is once again Deep Dark 46. We're gonna go ahead and swatch Deep Dark 52. And this is the shade Deep Dark 52. Now this shade could possibly be a really good natural beat shade to use when you're going for more of a natural look. This could be a good shade to use when you kinda just want to look beat. Um, I do like to go for more shades like this just because I feel like when I use the setting powder, the loose setting powders, their job is to brighten the concealer. So I don't want to go too light in my concealer and then put that on and just be like, pa pow, you know, in people's faces. So I'm kind of indecisive of which one I want to use for this video though. This is kind of hard to choose because these are actually really both great shades. Maybe I need to blend them out to see like how do they look blended. So I went ahead and took the liberty of blending both out on my hand a little bit more just so we could see what it looks like when it's spread it. I'm going to use Deep Dark 46 and just see. So I will say that I like the applicator on these concealers. It really bends so it helps you get into certain areas a lot better and a lot smoother. But I'm going to hurry up and blend this because I'm really not sure how long it takes before this dries and I don't want to be surprised at all. So as far as that application, <laughs> so I actually love that shade. I thought it was going to be super light, but I like it. For the next step for this look, um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can contour using one of my pressed powders. You really need to give this face a little bit more dimension, a little bit more definition, a little bit more color. Like I said, I got two shades, deep dark and dark. Now, looking at the back, um, D A R K. Okay, that's how you spell dark. This don't look dark. I don't. I don't really. This must be dark to a snowman. Opening up dark. It looks like I thought it would look, okay. And deep dark. Let's go ahead and get into this really quick, okay? I'm just gonna let you guys get into this really quick. Probably would never use this. I'm gonna, just gonna put this one to the side. Cause it, who, we're, we don't need that kind of energy right now. We don't need this kind of energy. We don't need to see so like this and automatically get upset. This is just not dark. This isn't dark. Um, They could have used a different name, but hey, I guess. Um, this isn't dark. So if you see this, this isn't dark. So this is what you're looking at for the deep dark shade. I would probably at the most be able to use this as a finishing powder. I'm not even going to try to contour with this because I know nothing. It's not, nothing, nothing's going to come up. I'm going to just stick to what I use to contour with, which would be my ABH Cosmetics Contour Kit. And we'll move forward with the scheduled programming after that. Yeah. So next I'm going to move in with the ColourPop No Filter Loose Setting Powder. 
This is in the shade Banana. Like I said, they come in three shades. You get Translucent, you get Banana, and you get Translucent Dark. Um, I did want to be on the safe side and get the Banana shade just because most of the powders that I use have a yellow tint in them. Um, I recently just started using the Beauty Bakery Yellow Flower Powder. I love that powder. I kind of love it more than the Sasha Buttercup, and Sasha is the bomb, okay? So I've been using those two back and forth. They have yellow tints. Sasha is about the same shade as this, so I just hope I get the same effect, if not the exact same. Of course, I have nails and they want me to pull this plastic off. Not working in my favor! All right, so I went ahead and pulled the plastic off of the uh, setting powder. So this is about how yellow, sorry, it's like so much lighting in here, and then we have the sunlight. But this is about how yellow the product is. It's about the same shade almost as Sasha Buttercup uh, loose setting powder. So hopefully we should be okay. Alright, so this is what it looks like with that loose setting powder on. I really like this setting powder. I really do. Um, this will probably be another go-to of mine if I can't find my Sasha Buttercup or my Beauty Bakery because things happen and I've been in that situation a lot. But I do love the way that it looks. Um, it definitely gives my face a little bit more color as far as my highlighted areas. They don't look super pale and I hate when I set my face and it looks really pale. So I'm actually really happy about that. K ColourPop, I see you! I see you through the grapevine. I heard it through the grapevine. I'm sorry, the sun is really trying to take over my life while I film. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna have any of this. You see this? This is negative energy. I will not participate in it. I will not, I will have no parts in it. I will have no, oh, it, you really here in my, okay. Yes, girl, come through with that setting powder, girl. You don't look ashy, you look classy, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to setting the rest of my face. And I think I'm going to give the ColourPop Deep Dark um, a chance to set my face. Since this is a pressed powder, I'm gonna give it a chance to prove itself. I'm actually really nervous about this. I'm not even gonna kick it because if it comes out super lighter than what it is, I'm gonna be upset. Because I actually, don't you get tired when you use like a loose setting powder or just a, a powder period and it appears to be dark in your face while you open it and then you put it on your face and it comes out way lighter that is what pisses me off you want to know something that grinds my gear there you go all right and like i said before that is just what i used as a finishing powder and i'm honestly I'm not disappointed at how that turned out at all. I don't feel like it was lighter than what it appeared to be in the actual packaging. I'm sorry, the sun is really trying to take over my life. Um, where were you when I needed you though? Where were you when I needed you? Before I had to put all these lights in my room, now you wanna be out and about? I don't think so, okay? Your access isn't granted, okay? I'm a little bit sad that I couldn't use it as a bronzer or a contour, being that it does say deep dark. But it's okay because as a finishing powder, it worked perfectly. Now I'm gonna step outside of ColourPop just for a few moments because I do wanna add color to my face. I'm gonna go in with my Black Radiance Toasted Almond uh, Baked Blush. Dang it, son, I'm really getting tired of you. Now before I move in with my Ellery lipstick, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips just because I do not wanna be surprised. And some reds, even though it looks gorgeous on her some reds don't really flatter me so i'm going to just take cautionary and line my lips with club hopper which is the nyx suede matte lip liner now i'm going to go in with my lipstick from colourpop this is in the shade ellery from the ellery collab that she did with colourpop this is what we're looking at. We're looking at this really pretty red color that of course looks absolutely flattering on Ellery herself. I'm really, really, really excited to try this. So here we go. All right, so 
so this is all that I will be doing to my face. I'm not gonna be adding highlighter because I don't even wanna go as far as that. I want to keep the full face appearance to be able to review with you all at the end. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face with my Urban Decay D Slick setting spray and I'll be back to review with you guys. Okay guys, so this is the finished face using ColourPop No Filter products. For the overall look, if I had to rate this look from 1 to 10, I would give this look a 10. As far as how the products look together, as far as how presentable this looks. Now going through each product for review, I'm just going to give my quick thoughts on each product that I use. So starting off with the foundation, let's just keep it real. Okay, let's be real and listen to what we're really getting right now, okay? This is no filter, full coverage. Full, not medium to buildable. This is a full coverage. I had absolutely no issues with covering up any marks with this. I do feel like one layer will do the job. It does feel a bit dry. However, my skin doesn't feel dry. Compared to the Fenty Pro Filter, um, I really think this would probably suit a lot of you all way better. So rating this product alone out of 1 to 10, I will definitely 100% undoubtedly, unhesitantly give it a 10. This is a 10. This is an 11. Okay, let's let's just cut the chat. Let's just let's just stop. Let's just stop the games. This is an 11. Who needs a scale? This is off the scale. This is a really good product. I would definitely encourage people to invest in it. Moving on to the concealer. I loved the concealer. The only issue that I have with the concealer is it does dry down a bit quicker than my other products that I use. As far as the smell, it didn't smell weird to me or anything like that because I know some people are big on smells. And this is the same with the foundation. There's not really a weird smell. I love the applicator. It was very flexible and it moved with the way that I was guiding it and the consistency of it isn't runny to me it's, a, it's decently thick it's not super thick but it's a decent amount of thickness where you know I feel like I'm not just dabbing water on my face but I really like it I like the shade I like that I took the chance on getting the shade and using the shade in the video even though I had that other shade rating this product one out of ten I would give it a nine and a half moving on to the no filter loose setting powder I love this okay let me just stop let's stop acting like we didn't see what we saw earlier when I applied this. It does a really good job of mattifying the face. I love the tint of it. It's not too yellow where it looks crazy and it's not too faded where it looks ashy. That I used the Damp Beauty Blender. Worked perfectly with it. I had no issues with it at all. You're going to be happy with the results. I really love this product. So rating this 1 out of 10, you already know it's a 10. And lastly for my review on the ColourPop No Filter products will be the pressed powder in the shade Deep Dark, of course, because I was unable to use the dark shade. I like it. I think it is very convenient for me. Um, I normally set my face with my Bare Minerals uh, powder foundation. As far as using it as a setting powder for my skin tone, I think this powder was perfect. Um, it is true to color. You don't have to worry about dipping into it and it comes out a whole completely different color. However, um, just as like a personal two cents and basing my opinion off of something that really is just my opinion. If they could go just a tad bit darker, just for melanin women who are a little bit darker than me that may want to use it as a finishing powder as well, or just to use as a contour or something like that, that would be very helpful um, for them to do that. Doesn't take away from how well this product works. I would rate the pressed powder out of 1 to 10 a 9.5, and, and that is because I thought maybe I could use you know the dark shade as the finishing powder and then the deep dark as a contour but I really didn't get that I don't know I would say nine and a half ten because it, it pretty much did what it, it was supposed to do It was a pressed powder and it's gonna keep my foundation in place so I'm not mad at that at all now to quickly just rate the Ella Ree, uh lipstick I would probably give this an eight just because I'm really picky about my reds I really thought this was gonna be matte because it said that it was matte on the website it wasn't at that matte Another thing is, I don't know, I feel like this red doesn't really flatter me as much as I wanted it to. Maybe it could flatter me with a different hairstyle. Who knows? Um, I just, I'm really not feeling it just because it's a little 
bit on the glossier or just lipstick side is not really matte. Yeah, so I would have definitely went with a different lip color or a matte lip or something if I knew this was the outcome of it. But yeah, please make sure you check the description box because I always put extra information in there that I don't mention in the video and sometimes I'll put information in there that was mentioned whatever um make sure you check the description box also make sure you leave comments let me know what you think do you own any of these products how long have you been using ColourPop? do you use ColourPop? would you use ColourPop? would you recommend people try out this foundation do you think this is being hyped do you think this is just not what people are saying it is let me know what you think about the overall look in the comments below i would love to interact with you guys if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up also there's no better opinion of something than your own so make sure you go out and you try this product for yourself if you just want to try the foundation i would definitely recommend you try the foundation and try the loose setting powder i don't see you being upset about it at all because i love it and i think that's about it for me thank you so much for tuning into this video and i will see you guys next wednesday bye